evaluate an uh, original store bought Goyard um, San Luis size PM versus uh, uh, another uh, San Luis Goyard which we feel has some flaws or is not uh, authentic. So to begin with, I am Ro Deliara from Duchess of Luxury Manila and this is DLM's Saturday. Uh, on your left is the original store bought and on your right, on my right, is the Goyard San Luis which is, uh, a client has given me to evaluate. So we're fortunate enough to have the same color of the same bag uh, at the same time. So we'll start with the dust bag. As you can see, the dust bag of the original Goyard, this one, the logo and the font is very different. The Goyard is thicker and the address which is 233 Rue San Honor, Tari is also thinner versus like it's like one, one, uh, one size for all of these three. In Goyard, the logo has a different size and the address in Tari all in caps but thinner. Also, I'd like to point out, we even measured the size of the logo. This one measures around 11.2 uh, millimeters, uh, no, centimeters, while the flawed client's bag is around uh, 7 or 8.5 centimeters. We also did the video because to show the color is different. The color is different. This is yellowish and this is more of yellow orange. Um, and if you look, the original has a drawstring. Same color as the print. Well, this one, it doesn't have any drawstring or uh, anything to close the dust bag. The quality of the material is different. This is soft and it's like a felt canvas. Well, the bag in question is uh, silky. Silky. The stitching also is different. This is thicker, meaning bigger uh, lines or stitches. This one is thinner or almost uh, cannot be seen. Okay, so that's just the dust bag. We'll proceed with the other um, things or uh, points that I normally check. So both would normally have a care card. This is the original, and this is this is the in question. In terms of envelope, the only difference uh, is the this is I think lighter uh, or beigeier in color. Well, this one I don't know if you could see it. It's sort of like white, uh, lighter color than this one. Okay, that's the envelope. But inside, which is the care card, you can already immediately see the original has, you take it out, the original has the model of the bag, Le Caba San Louis. So meaning it's Caba San Louis. That's the name of the model of the Goyard bag. While the bag in question doesn't have any. But here and here, they're, the simil they're almost same, so negligible. Moving forward, we all know these are all written in French, Italian, and English. Should we look for the English one? Can you hold this? I will be assisted by our staff, Nello. This is, I think, the English one. So if you look, it reads, Goyard Goods, thank you for purchasing this blah 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 Goyard product. But here it starts with the model 
the sun the saint the san louis totes spirit i can't read basta yung mga uh it reads in english a reversible bag entirely designed like a summer tote to carry dump things damp things back from the beach the saint louis bag is crafted in our workshops in france using traditional process and our unique leather expertise blah 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 so there is basically a difference in what they say okay may mga pakiclose na lang follow and then this one yan ito this one then in the price tag Uh, this is what they call the store cards, the price tag. I put them here so we could compare. Immediately you could see the difference in terms of color. The original or store bought is sort of like grayish versus a beige finish or print or uh, or makeup paper for the bag in question. At the back also surprising is the original has a stick on that's pasted or a gum label that's uh, pasted on the card while the one in question which i also see in um, items in green hills where the fake ones or fake bags of different designs are present it's printed directly although they have clear ink or clear print this one it's not clear but you can see the difference in terms of the logo and um, it's not printed directly on the price tag okay again the string is also different so the color is beige this is gray okay now we know that this is original because this was bought by our shopper in Europe store bought that's why I term it as store bought original if you look at the PVC canvas is it evident the color is much alive here than the bag in question the markings are more prominent and this is flash when I do this this is parang shiny while this one is dull and flat okay And another thing, the only thing similar to them, or they're both the same, is between Goyard to another Goyard, that's nine branches in between. So this is one logo and another logo. So we count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The tenth being the, the Goyard logo. It's similar. That's the one. They are one, one of the few that they are the same. So Goyard, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The tenth is the Goyard. Um, and then on the leather, you could already see because this is a canvas made of canvas leather. These are called leather trims, maybe goat skin or calf skin. You can see a real leather has a grain, the leather grain, versus a. a Versus a synthetic one, which is uh, flat. Oh, no, no. This is shiny, even, and uh, stiff. Well, this one is a bit more pliable. See? Well, I also counted the stitching from here to here. That's around, I think, 13. Well, this one is 12. 12 stitching. In terms of the handle, they almost, in, in terms of the thickness, they're the same, so it's negligible. And then, uh, the original also store bought has a plastic to protect. Uh, not many designer bags have this. Uh, normally, they use the white foam material, but I think for the yard, they use the plastic. Um, another thing to note is this one. If you look at the stamping or the blind stamp, if you look at the blind stamp, it's normally found here. 
So, Melo, can you just do like that? Yeah. It's composed of three letters and six numbers. So, the blind stamp of the store bought is B A E. Very, very, uh, it's not, it's not easily seen. B A E one two zero one nine two. But if you look, just you know, just hold it. But I could compare. If you look at the blind stamp, it's very prominent. This is the flood or flood bag or the bag in question. It's also three letters, S A R, and then six numbers, zero two zero one four six. S A R zero two zero one four six. Normally, if you have this in your yard, be uh, what they call this, um, be afraid. Because normally they would take a certain serial number and they would reproduce it on the same bag, even if it's different color. Another thing to note is this one: the tie that holds the the the, the date code or the stamping is the in the bag in question. It's very loose. Well, this one, it's just right. <coughs> it's thinner. Thinner. Now look at it. And compared to this one, see. Another thing to note, if you look at, that's what I have to do this, I have to switch. The bag in question, it would start, the S curve would start here and finish here. S curve, then paganon siya. So, if you look at it, S, and then it goes there. So, opposite side. Diba? But when you look at it, it's like that. Uh, no, you have to. What when you need to look at the stamp or date stamp, do like that. You need to. This is the one in front. Well, if you do this in the other one, it's pa S curve. And then when you open the actual reading of this one. So I need the light here. I need the light. I even can see the blind stamp. But I'm going to go to the phone. Ah, like this. If you look at it, if you open it this way, it's like this. So it's facing you. While this one, if you read it, it's baliktad. Uh, it's upside down. It's facing that way. So, you can see. I don't know if you guys can see. And then, this one. See? Wait. Naka-ano naka, naka sa akin. Dapat ganun. Other way around. See? So, ito, nasa ilalim, and it's facing me. It's so, upside down. While this one, okay. Ayan, nakaharap. It's facing this one. Ganyan. So, that's the difference. And then, what does the note? Ah, hardware. The only hardware for this is the button. You don't need it. Yeah. Okay, the button, the original store bought is not as shiny. It's supposed to be silver tone. It's not as shiny as. Okay, the, the original is on top. It has also the felt. Felt protector. Put mong in. Or ito put mong in fan. Okay, uh, this one, if you can see, it's very shiny. This is the bag in question. This is the original. And then the leather again, the leather trim. The leather trim, you can see also from here, um, the grain is there, but it's shiny. If you com compare them, this is flatter, not as shiny. This one, uh, I don't know if it's synthetic, it's shiny. Okay. 
Now, inside. Ah, okay. Naman na yung measurement. Inside, what we can see here is that the original has a white canvas. White canvas. And then, the other one is a bit yellow. See? You can see already when we switch. Also, the workmanship in terms of this one. Yung mga ending. The trim. It's so sloppy. You can... I don't focus now. This one. You can see the overlap. The other one, you can't see the, any overlap, but it has it. They normally ayun, put the overlap in the side or the other side. So, sa sides, ito. That's the overlap. See? In terms of workmanship, you can even see the connection or the connector of the overlap. Um, also, I don't know, uh, the smell. Uh, this bag doesn't have a smell inside. While the bag in question has a faint odor, like it's, it smells of burnt plastic. Yeah. In terms of measurement, mm -hmm. I took the measurement earlier. Okay. When I measured the original, the store bought, the top base is 47 cm. You have to flatten this, no? Mm -hmm. Sige, flat mo na ako na mahala sa motion. Uh, baliktad lang, but... I'll do it this way. So, from there to there, it should be... And it's flat. 47 cm. Okay? While this one, the other one, it's 48 cm. Kawa ka mo ito. Because I will do this one. Okay. 46, 47, 48. So it's even past 48. It's like 48.5, almost 49 cm. Also, um, I also took the base measure, which is the original has 33.5 cm. Well, the base is what we measure at the bottom. So, from this side to this side. Hmm. From that to that. That's 33.3.4. Something like that. Here, somewhere here. 33. And then this one. The base measures 34.3, so that's an extra 10 cm. Thirty-four, see, even if it's inverted, thirty-four. Okay, and then the the thickness or the depth measures 15 cm from end to end. That's 15 cm. That's a depth. While the storebot it should measure 14.5 cm. See, 14.5 cm. There. Uh, the height, which is last, na flat na lang. Flat. It's easier. The height, no, 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 the height, here to here. The height of this one is 26 and a half or 26.7, almost 27 cm. While this one, the one in question is, I think, 28. Yeah, almost 28. Okay. That being said, uh, what else do I need? Ah, okay. The material, I already said the stitches, the trims, the blind stamp. So you could try to just span it and compare when I look at the other floss. 
Okay. Okay, uh, as you've noted, the attach point first of the store box versus the bag in question. There's the protective inner felt because these are normally used because this is this leather is being protected against this one. Well, this one doesn't have. So it shows to me that this is not real leather. Also, if you look at the markings inside, you want to overlap na lang. Oh, it's easier. The bag in question has a very pronounced, very pronounced uh, stamp. While the original Starbucks is very thin. This is because the real leather, it, it takes time for the stamp to really be pressed in. See? You can see it's very faint. This one's very pronounced. Okay. What else? So, reflective shine, leather green, spacing of branches will finish already, hardware, clear carbon and glow, uh, storm or Okay, we have also the Lighter in ink. The original stop what is lighter in ink print versus CD. But the English explanation is different. So basically, that's not page 4. Page 6. So the interior, I've already pointed out that the interior leather trim connector is sloppy in the client's bag, which is the one in question. Um, versus the storyboard. Strap thickness. Strap thickness and size. I didn't measure this, so I'll measure it now. It measures V4 almost four and a half cm. This one is almost five cm. So this is the one that uh, is stitched on the bag. Okay. So again, another glaring difference in terms of measurement. Uh, I think basically I've covered everything. So original, if you can see the leather, there's a green, very dull, versus the shiny leather trim of the one in question, but different in the printing. In the printing, it's reflective, see, even if I don't touch it, you can see that there's a play of light, it's very, when you move, like this one's very dull, it doesn't reflect anything. It's uh, again, I think the uh, the way it was cured or the way it was laminated for the store bought and the uh, in question. Uh, I think I've covered everything. So, that being said, uh, we thank you for uh, being with us. For another, I just want to compare talaga. At least if you have this, you can you can initially see that the original storyboard should have the model of the bag in the care card. And if it's if 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 you, the bag that you bought doesn't have that, then that already is a sign for you to be cautious on what you are buying. Also, the price point. The price point of the original store bought ranges anywhere from um, 78 to 85, 88, depending on the bat or where it was or the currency exchange of the country. Versus this one, this one was sold to our client at 35,000 pesos.
So I'm quoting in peso. So this was around maybe 7986,000 including that etc. or 89 even place. Eh. And this one it's 34,000. So that being said, I hope you'll appreciate that we are lucky at this time to find the difference between the Goyard store bought or the authentic one and the bag in question. Um, you're lucky again to have both bags, same color, same everything, so we could compare it point by point. But if you happen to have a different colored bag, you could at least look at the points that I have raised in terms of measurement, in terms of the shininess of the PVC logo here, in terms of the actual leather trims, Remember, a, a, a authentic leather, authentic bag always carry a real leather, so the grade is evident. While a copy or a triple A or what might have you, it's really shiny and there's no actual grain of leather. Um, at that point, I would like to thank everyone for being with me this app today, uh, and uh, hope you enjoy what we have for the. How to spot a thing. This time it's with Puyar, San Luis, PM. Thank you. Bye.